Solomon did not write anything about love or even remotely relating to love in the Bible. In Proverbs 30 verses 18 to 19, Solomon himself says that he does not understand how people fall in love. Let's read it. There are three or four things I, Solomon, cannot understand. How eagles fly so high, or snakes crawl on rocks, how ships sail the ocean, or how people fall in love. Other versions say, Solomon doesn't understand how a man loves a woman, and Solomon doesn't understand a man and a woman falling in love. Solomon did not understand love. Solomon did not understand what love is, or how to fall in love, and how to love a woman. He said it himself, because he does not know the meaning of love. That is why our Lord God did not allow Solomon to write about love in any of Solomon's writings in the Bible. You cannot write about something you know nothing about, and also... Solomon was sinning against God in that exact same thing, in that exact same area, because Solomon lusted of the woman and also married the woman God told him not to marry. 1 Kings 11 verse 6 And Solomon did what was evil in the eyes of the Lord. Deuteronomy 17.17 17. A king shall not multiply wives for himself. Let's see what the Bible says, what the things are which Solomon had authority to write about and the things which Solomon did write about. 1 Kings 4 verse 32 and 33 He, Solomon, composed some 3,000 proverbs and wrote 1,005 songs. He could speak with authority about all kinds of plants, from the great cedar of Lebanon to the tiny hyssop that grows from cracks in a wall. He could also speak about animals, birds, small creatures, and fish. God did not give Solomon authority to write about love. Now, Solomon is the adulterer in the book of Song of Songs, who wants to steal the bride of Christ away from Christ the shepherd. Some people say that Solomon is the type of Christ in this song. This is absolutely absurd. Solomon had a spirit of lust. He slept with a thousand women. He was dirty. He let the desires and pleasures of his flesh rule him. How in the world can Solomon be a type of Christ? Also, Solomon was a king. He was not a shepherd. This song is about the love between a shepherd and his bride. Solomon is not the shepherd in the book of Song of Songs. This humble little shepherd boy who shows love, affection and humility in the book of Song of Songs is the representation of Christ our shepherd and bridegroom, not Solomon. Solomon is a type of Satan, the adulterer, who is there to draw out the bride to try to win her affections from her shepherd and cause her to be unfaithful to her beloved. Let's read Song of Songs 1 verse 4 where the Shulamite bride asks her shepherd to rescue her from the king's lusts. Take me with you. Come, let's run. The king has brought me into his bedroom. We have to search out the scriptures as Jesus told us to do. 
because the scriptures testify of Jesus.